it's Sasha here on a long time no see and um, today I'm going to be doing a video for you guys of just little things that me and my partner bought um, we went shopping a few weeks ago now and I still haven't done this video so um, you know when you go shopping and you think you've got loads of stuff but you use it so it's like everywhere and then like you can't remember everything you got um, it's kind of like that so there's only a few bits here but there is like other things um, one of the things I got was some hair extensions like, I can't even tell which bits of hair up oh, here the soft looking bits um, and they're only cheap they're not very long and they're not very thick either with my hair as you can see like all this is mad so <clears throat> right so yeah and another new thing I got this crop top so I'm not going to lift it up but um, I got this crop top and it comes to about this much above my belly button and I know all oh, fat people shouldn't wear crop tops I don't care I think it looks nice and especially if you've got some like high waisted harem pants which is what I'm wearing yeah um, also before I forget there's a few like stickery things Wait, let me just show you. I don't know if you can see that, but that's one of the stickers. And behind me is there's another one there. Then a little butterfly thingy and a little chair one there with a bird on it. And where's the butterfly? The butterfly things are like these, and they come in all different like sizes. And at the back they just stick, but they've been falling down, so that's a bit shit. I'll put it up there and I guarantee you it will fall down in this video. Um, so yeah, that's a few things so far that I would forget. Um, so I haven't done a video on ages, guys. Right. Next, I got... Oh, I went to Primark, I haven't got all of them with me, but I went to Primark and I got, um, like, loads of brushes like these. There was all different ones. There was, like, foundation brush, this, I told you, this brush, that brush, whatever. Um, and this, like these. And I use this brush for my foundation and I actually need to clean it. But, um, probably isn't for foundation, but it comes out good. So... And then this one I've been using for like my contour, like, um, and these were only like one fifty or something. So I just got loads of like different ones. Then next in makeup, uh, I got this. Um, it's sleek face contour kit because I wanted to contour and I didn't have one because my old contour broke well not broke why did I say broke it um ran out so I bought this but as you can see this colour is going to be way too light for my skin and that colour was too light for my skin as well so what was the point um so it was too light it looks really dark on the box like but as you can see that's not dark enough for um bit of contour so I gave this to my mum and she's white um so this colour looks good as like a contour bronzer sort of thing for her because um she likes her like darker like that then and this was like I can't remember how much this was I think it might have been like seven ninety nine or something um sleek products are quite expensive considering they're just drugstore so also I picked up this at the same time because I had a feeling that one of these would be wrong that's why I picked up both and this is just a sleek makeup um, oil free cream to powder yeah and it is in chocolate fudge 711 and it looks like this I've obviously been using it, but it's still very new. So that looks like that. Um, and 
the lighting's a bit shit, but as you can see, it is a bit dark and it comes out very dark. So let me just put a smudge on. This is what it looks like. So as you can see, that is very much so darker. And um, it comes with like an underneath bit as well. Oh, look, you can see yourself. And it's like just this little spongy thing, which no one uses anyway. That's that. Then, going on to better things, um, I did get a quilt, quilt set for our bed, pillowcases, but I'm sitting on it because I have to make myself higher, so you can't really see that at the moment. But another homely bit I got was this beautiful uh, butterfly with diamonds on it. And anyone who knows me knows that I love like diamondy bits. And yeah, it just looks like this. And I can't remember how much this was, but it's like one of them plaque things. And yeah, just to go on like your window ledge or whatever. But I leave it up here on the thingy. Um, to go with that, that, I don't know how much that was. I did say that, I don't know. No. The next, sorry, I've got a harbour. Next I've got this one. And it just says home with two butterflies there and there. And that's that. And this is so pretty because it's, it's black, but it's like got glitter on it. How pretty is that, guys? So I can't remember how much that was either, but I know that that wasn't expensive either. Uh, I'm just grabbing what I see. Uh, I love my cups. I'm sure many of you know that, like my tumbler cups. And I saw this one. Oh yeah, sorry. I'm such an idiot. These butterflies were from the range. The stickers on the walls were from the range. Um, the home and the butterfly was from the range. And uh, this top was from Primark for like three pound. Um, yeah. And this was also from the range. And it says I'd rather be sipping champagne, but it's like all glittery, if you can see pink glitter so that's that and I just think this is so pretty but I don't drink out of these I just keep them on my table which is a bit of a mess right now so I'm not even going to show that um, so that's that and uh, I can't remember how much that was probably about a pound or something there. from the pound shop we got like all different little Halloween bits just to put in our room we haven't done it yet though but there's these little skull lights and seriously guys, if you want to do Halloween like on a budget, go to the pound shop. Um so good. And these were only a pound, obviously. And they're like little skulls. And it's not very long. It's not like your Christmas lights, but um you could put batteries in so you don't have to worry about like anything blowing up because it's like pound shop. So they're so bright as well, especially like in the dark. They're really bright. And I've got these on my chest of drawers here. And I, it just looks so pretty at night time. And I'm actually scared of the dark, so I leave them on all the time. Um, we got two of them. One's on the TV there. Um, and that one, which is such a good price. Um, I wish they was a bit longer, but for a pound, guys, come on. And the battery life lasts quite long as well. It's not one of them things that just goes after like an hour. Um, oh. Seeing my fat there. Oh. Um, yeah, what was I going to say? Um, oh yeah, and we got this like... My mum's listening to her shitty music downstairs. Ignore that. There's this thing, and this thing fucking scares me. I don't even want to get it out, to be honest. Oh, that way. Right. Basically, there was a story behind it, and I will tell you it. Basically, it's like a um, thing for your door, like a big, looks like a carrier bag, like that sort of material, um, like cover thing. 
and you put it on your door and it says keep out in like fake blood obviously and it's got like all handprints and like skeleton handprints in blood and stuff like that like keep out of this room basically just as a joke to my mum because we live with my mum at the moment um but freaky shit has been happening no lie um we keep hearing it like move at certain points like just before we go to bed it will like move and yesterday when we went, when we went to the toilet we heard move bearing in mind we had it on the outside of the door and we kept hearing it like moving that and my mum was like oh it's probably the wind so we thought oh we'll be the smart ones so we put it on the inside of the door shut the window and when we went to the toilet and shut the door again um we heard it going on its own that is some ghostly shit and I, i'm terrified so i've been up a lot that's why i'm a bit tired but anyway uh, what else did we get? Like cobweb bits uh, in a bright green colour and in white and there's like these little spiders on it. Loads of them. Terrified me. Next there's these beets that my bub's got me. I do have a, a big pair of beets, like bright pink. Um, but it's a bit much to wear them, isn't it? So he got me these little ones. So I could just put them in. And these were from Argos, and they were 60 something pound, I believe, which is a bit expensive just for some little headphones. And if you take it off, you've got this bit, like you've got the bigger ones. If you just, if you're looking for something just beats, then I'll suggest getting the cheap ones, even though they're not, well, not actually cheap. But Oops. And this is what it looks like inside. Obviously, your headphones are supposed to be there, and you get like a little, like a little wallet thing. But um, Pete uses it like as a wallet. <laughs> so when we've been going like shopping and that, he's been taking it out as a, for a wallet to put money in because it because it's really tight and you have to really pull it. You know like one of them bands that you like snap on your wrist and they snap, it's like that sort of thing, so it won't let coins out, so that's quite good. So yeah, £60, and as you can see they're like black and red, and they're actually here. Let me show you. And they've got the little beep beep on them. So that's them. Next, while I have it in my hand, is... The tablet. My I bought this for my partner. It's a bit smashed. Oops. And it was um it was hundred and twenty or hundred and forty. I don't know. But this is what it looks like. It's all scratched at the moment. But what can you do? Um and it is a Harrier and it's on EE and this is a fucking amazing tablet and I would definitely recommend this to anyone we just got unfortunate and dropped it um, and then so yeah that was from um, the tablet was second hand as well and it wasn't smashed at all it was perfect condition and it was from CEX if anyone has that um, and then this case is from, you know, like the little markets in shopping centres, like Westfields, Frontford, like, in the little shopping centre. So this is a really cool case. Obviously, you know how it goes. So, that's really cool. Love that. Unfortunately, it's smashed, which is a bit of a piss take. Then, this is my partner's perfume. I call it perfume, but aftershave. It's Hugo Boss. And we, like, went to the perfume shop and we just went a bit crazy. And just, like, bought loads of perfume. <laughs> Not loads, but... And he used so much. Because I was wondering why he was smelling so strong. And now I know why. Because he sprayed the whole bottle. The scent. Yes, yeah, so that's what it looks like. And this smell is so strong, it's really good. Like, it will last hours and hours, days and days. So, you know, that's cool. 
And I can't remember how much this was. 100 and something? I don't know. Um, then this is my perfume. This is my favourite one. I think I've had about four or five bottles of this. And this is actually the large one, even though it doesn't even look that fucking big. Look at that. What is this? What is it? Um, I think I've chucked the box away because it's in this little metal tin, which looks cool. So I just leave it in there, but let me spray some because I want to. Mm. Oh, I love that smell. It's so nice. Who loves Lady Minion smell? Like if you like. And I can't remember how much this was. I know you can get like the smaller one for like 20 something pound. Um, for the small one, but I think this was about maybe 60 I'm gonna say, but I don't know. This is from the perfume shop, so it's the Hugo Boss. I know this one's a bit cheaper than my friend had this one and it smells fucking lovely, so I definitely had to buy it. And it's black opium. And it just looks like this. And it's like black glittery. The bottle's like glittery black. 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 Why am I so tongue tied today? And it says on it, Via Saint Laurent. So that's that. And it smells beautiful as well, but I don't want to use it. This was quite expensive. I can't remember how much this was, but. Altogether, my perfumes comes like 200 and something, and the people were so shocked because obviously he paid for his but used my card as well. So, in one purchase, we got like 20 pounds no, wait, 20 or 30 pounds worth of like points. And they was like, Oh my god, they were so, so shocked in there, like, no one had bought all these perfumes before, but it's only free. But they were really shocked. I think maybe because I looked like a scruff bag, no makeup, hair was up, like, we just wanted to shop. We wasn't like, you know. Then, next, I'm going to go on to trainers. Uh, my boyfriend's just gone to the shop and he's took his trainer, so after, uh, I won't be able to show them. But, these are his other pair of trainers, getting a little bit dirty. And, they look like this. And I can't remember how much these were, but they're so nice. They look like, you know, that's the old school Reebok, like, you know. They look like that, but they're so nice. And I love them. And they're Adidas, obviously, because he's fucking Adidas crazy. And it says Adidas there and there. Um, can't remember how much these were. I don't know the size either. But yeah. That's that. And then my little babies. I've wanted these trainers for a long time, but I've been like too broke to like get some, so here they are. My Harachis. I actually love them. Um they're just plain black Harachis. Obviously nikes. And I just love them. I've got such wide feet and it kind of disguises it. My feet look so small in these trainers. But I love these. And what size are these in? These are in a size six. And they're just so beautiful and I love them. I love them so much. And obviously the other shoe if you want to see that. And they're still obviously they're a bit day, but I mean they're still intact. Then next Oh no, he didn't take his trainers. Oh, he took different ones. I'll show you these. I wanted a pair of these. Um, these were like thirty-five pound in blue ink because I think they had a sale on these shoes. But these have just come out, so I don't see why they'd have a sale. But they're so pretty, and I wish I had a pair, but they didn't have them in my size, obviously, because it's a man shop. These are a size nine. And they look like this. And these are so in fashion right now. 
And I love them. And if I had bigger feet, I would steal them. But I don't, so I can't. Next, I got this tracksuit thingy, and I, pardon me. I had a tracksuit before, um, like this, but it had like diamonds on it. I don't, I don't think you ever saw that. But um, I left it at someone's house where I used to be friends with, and I, I just never got it back because I never went back there. Um, so I went and got a different one. So that's that. Can't remember, can't remember how much it was, but it's in a size 14, top and the bottoms. I think it comes to about 30 pound or 25 pound or something like that. Which seems a lot just for a flimsy tracksuit, but it's alright. Next, I got this Adidas top. Oh, I've got so many clothes that are being washed right now. Shit. I got this Adidas top. Basically, I went in that tracksuit because we went shopping again the next day, I think. Um, and what was it? Oh yeah, and I was really hot. It was a really hot day, so I got this from. This, can you believe that this was from um, Sports World, like Sports Direct, and I think it was only like a tenner or something, but it says Adidas, the brand with the three stripes, established 1949. So that's that, and I've got this in a size medium. And even in a medium, this is still baggy, so the size has come up a bit big. But if I got a small, then that would just be stupid. I'd look like wearing a crop top. Oh, I'm going to tell you this. Also, I got this lovely Converse top. And it was like a, it was grey, obviously, with the Converse there. Can't remember how much it was. Maybe 30, no, £30. Maybe like £15. I think, but that's lovely, and I'll have to show that in a different video when it's washed. Then, um, what else was it? Oh yeah, I have a lovely um Converse um Converse tracksuit, and it's like a blue colour. It's what sort of blue is it, guys? I can't find a blue for you. I suppose it is like this, but a bit lighter than that. Um, and it's like really thick and it's lovely. I've got the top and the bottoms that come to like 90 quid or 95 pounds. But love it. And obviously it's in the wash, so it just shows you that I've worn it too much. Um, also, I got some black harem pants to go with this crop top, but they're they're drying at the moment as we speak. And I think this is the last thing I can. Oh no! There is this. These are really fashionable lately, so I just got one of these, and they're so beautiful. It's like fair around the sides and it's like, I'm going to say this but it might be wrong, is it like a tartan print, tartan is it called? You know like what Scottish people wear it's like on the box of shortbread, I swear it's tartan but I don't know, <laughs> I look so stupid right now. Then, I've got this, this is my boyfriend's. It's an Adidas bag. And he's had this for a few weeks now. And let's see what's in it. My makeup bag. <laughs> Receipt for points. Oh, we got. Oh, where is it? I don't know where it is, but I bought The Sims 4. I bought The Sims 4, and I bought The Sims 4. Oh, so I feel really sick right now. And I bought The Sims 4 Get to Work. So that's obviously. That's for The Sims Get to Work. Yeah. And that was twenty nine ninety nine. I haven't even played that yet. I've been so busy. See, I've been so busy. I haven't even got a chance to play The Sims. 
and that's like my favourite game. So when I can't play The Sims, you know I'm busy. So that's that. And it's got a strap that you can alter. Obviously, you know how it goes. Then he got himself his little man bag, his little man bag. And again, it's Addy there. And he actually got this from, I can't remember how much that one was, I think it was £35. And they sell it in like JD, blah blah blah, all of that jazz. But this one he got from Sports World when I was buying my top, um, my Adidas top. He got this. That's stupid. And I wonder what's in here. I think this was only like a fiver or a tenner. Oh, just some important bits for me. Passport, whatnot. And I think that's it, guys. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah, also, I got a Samsung Galaxy S4 phone. And this. This Lenovo or Lenovo um, laptop and it's touch screen, so the screen's so dirty. Sorry, guys. And just looks like this. You think you can see me? My counter. It's so messy, right, guys? There's like two peas and eyelash glue and all that jazz. So yeah. That's that. Then, oh, and we get some things like second hand. So that laptop was second hand, and it was from CEX, and I think it was like two hundred and fifty pounds or something, which I know that's so expensive for a laptop. But I was like, I want a laptop to play Sims. They wasn't listening to me. I want to play the Sims and edit my YouTube videos. That's all I want in life. So, then also, um, speaking of editing videos, I bought myself a new camera, but I might take it back, because basically I can't even remember what the camera is called, like the main, but it's like a camera, you know, you hold and you pull the thing out, all that jazz, but I filmed, this is no word of a fucking lie, I filmed for you about two weeks worth of footage, all bit by bit, well, about a week's worth, bit, bits here and there, of shopping, and meals, and this, and that, and guess what, when I tried to edit on the fucking laptop, it wouldn't edit, because it's like a different file, so I can't edit any videos I record on there, so I can't edit them, and I can't put them on YouTube. If anyone has a solution, or a converter that converts MP3 to, like, um, what is it? it has to be MVW or I don't know what it's called but if you know a converter and if this happens to you then can you comment below please 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 and let me know how I'm going to convert my videos um, also my partner he got a phone as well first he got the um, what was it called one sec let me just think of what it's actually called I know this, I know this, because it was going on about pages. Oh yeah, it was the HTC Mate, M8, um, and it was like a gold one, and it was like this big. Um, it was really good, but I just think he just didn't want it, so he changed it for a cheaper phone, because all he really uses it for is like, downloading his music and stuff. So he just got like a cheaper phone, but I think it's a Samsung one, but it's, it's black. But obviously I haven't got it, so I can't tell you. I can't show you it. Um, my phone was from Game Second Hand because I've already got an iPhone, which is what I'm recording on now. Um, I just wanted like, to download music, and that was 140 or no, it was 149 or 160, something like that. And yeah, so that's that. Um, this is a half an hour video. This is like long enough to be a program. Oh my god. So if you want to see into the next episode, then like 
I'm joking. Um, if you've actually watched this to the end, then thumbs up to you because you are a strong person and yeah, probably bored you to death. But anyway, that's that. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. Obviously, there is a few things <clears throat> that I have forgotten and when I stop filming, I'll probably be like, oh, I forgot that. Oh yeah, speaking of which, me and my partner, I don't know if I told you, we got matching tattoos. I think I already said that in the last video. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And, oh, and by the way, my hair is not ginger. It's just getting lighter, because it used to be like red like back in the day. So, it's just getting lighter and lighter every day. And I haven't straightened my hair for months, because uh, I wanted it to grow. And I finally straightened it, and it hasn't grown. <laughs> so that was a waste of time and yeah so that's all and I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching bye guys